My name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here. The official guide to GRE, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order to prepare for the exam. Yesterday on day number 28, we solved this question here, the uh, problem that you find on page number 146, turn to page 146. The, the problem about the property tax, problem number 3, we solved this problem yesterday in the non-classical way, the non-orthodox way, the non-traditional non way. Today I want to do the same problem in a more academic way, the proper way, the way your math teacher will expect you to solve this question, the way the ETS expects you to solve this question. Now who are these ETS people? E T S. These are the folks who are going to give you the exam. Educational Testing Service. They expect you to solve the problems, any problem that they put in front of you, in a very classical, very traditional, very orthodox, very academic way, very nerdy way, very geeky way. Which is the way I'm going to solve it right now. For those of you who have this uncontrollable urge to solve it that way. As you saw yesterday, that is not how I would solve it. Anyway, here it is. So the problem is in front of you. Here's the first method. I'm going to do it two different ways. We're going to do it as, we're going to set it up as a We will set it up as a proportion problem. So we have a tax and we have the value of the property. I don't know why I have so much trouble writing. So we are told that the tax, we are told that the tax on 125,000 is 2,500. We are told that. It is given to us. If you read the problem, that's which is why I told you, turn to page number 146, read the problem yourself and follow the work. You must have the book in front of you. And we are asked to figure out in column A, tax on 160,000 dollars, which is what we're going to do. Tax on 160,000 dollars. We're going to figure it out. We're going to actually figure it out. We're going to actually calculate it. Which is why, which is precisely why I don't want to calculate it, because these questions are called quantitative comparison, not quantitative computation. You mustn't have this uncomfortable urge to compute every bloody thing that you see there. But I'm going to do it anyway for those of you who are hell bent on it, just so you can see that even this, so that just so you can see that even this method is actually not that cumbersome. It's, it goes quite quite fast. So we're just going to solve for x. So cross multiply. If you cross multiply, 125 times k, x equals 160 k times 2500. Divide both sides by 125 k. So x equals 160 k times 2500 over 125 k. The K drops out. K of course represents a 3 zero of 160,000 and the 3 zeros of 125,000 that drop out. 125 we know is half of 250. 125 is half of 250. So here we have 20. That's it, we are done. That's it, we are done. 16 times 2 is 32. Here, yes, this is the 16 I'm talking about. 16 times 2 is 32 and then we have one zero here we have one zero here, we have one zero here, so there are two zeros. That's it. So the tax on so the tax on tax on hundred and sixty thousand comes out to be thirty two hundred dollars and in column B we have three thousand dollars 
Uh, I cannot pay attention. In column B, we have $3,000. Column A, we just figured out, is $3,200. Therefore, the answer is A. Now we're going to do a second method. That's it, we're done. That was it. I'm just going to pause for a minute. To catch my breath. Let's do it the second method. That's it, we're done. In method two, we're going to solve for P, which is the percentage rate of tax. We're going to solve for this P. We're going, we will we'll find out what percentage of the property assessed value is being taxed. Are they taxing 5% of the assessed value? Are they taxing 3% of the assessed value? Are they taxing 10% of the value? What's the tax rate? We know the tax, we know the tax is $2,500 on 125K. So what the question boils down to, this is what the question boils down to. The question boils down to is, so the question is, so the question that boils down to is 2,500 is what percent of 125k? That's, that's the question here. That's what it boils down to. So we're going to make an equation out of it and solve for it. So let's do it. 2,500 is 2,500 is, in English, if you translate it into the language of mathematics, is means equal. What is your unknown quantity? And traditionally, conventionally, we represent the unknown quantity with an X. But listen, if you want to be on the wild side and want to represent it with a Y, I would say, why not? So there's your what. Percent means, percent means, exactly what it says. Percent means, exactly what it says. It says, per 100. Percent means per per 100 or 1 over 100. That's what percent means. Percent means over 100. 100. So what is x? Percent means over 100. Off means times. Off means times or multiply and then 125 okay I'm gonna erase all of this thing so that it doesn't get too crowded it's getting too mumbo jumbo or we can do it right now here so now we have to solve for x bring the hundred over here so your x equals 2500 times a hundred over 125,000 this part that I just did there if you have trouble following what I just did do it yourself take your time I'm just I'm not going to show you every step here. So if you multiply both sides by 100, you multiply this side by 100, you multiply that side by 100, it will get rid of this 100 and will end up here on the top. And then you divide both, both sides of the equation by 125,000, which is what I did here. Let's, let's raise all of this thing. So that's it, we're done. So I see a whole bunch of zeros here. There are two zeros right here, that's it. There's another zero right here, that's it. So that's 250 and this 125, well, 125 times 2 is 250. That's it, we're done. X equals, we just found that X equals 2. The tax rate, the property tax rate in this town is 2%, 2% of the assessed value. 2% of the assessed value. The property that we have on our, our hand, property that, that we have on our hand, I don't know how low you can read here, so is property that, that we have on our hand is 160,000 
1% of 160,000, if you write 160,000, and if somebody asks you how much is 1% of that, well 1% of anything, any quantity is just 100. So 1% of this quantity, you just drop the two zeros, which leaves you with 1,600. 1% 1 of 160,000 is 1,600. Therefore, 2% 2 of 160,000 must be 2 times 1,600, or 3,200. Now I'm really beginning to worry how, how low you can read. That's it, 3,200. And since in the second column we are given a quantity of 3,000, therefore 3,200 is bigger than 3,000, the answer is A. That's it. We are done with this thing. It's out of my system and I feel better. But if you have not watched yesterday's video, day number 28, it is imperative, it is crucial, it is vital that you watch it because that's where I solve these questions the way it should have been done for those people who understand the concept of quantitative comparison. You are supposed to compute, compare the two quantities, not compute them. Here, we computed the whole bloody thing. We actually figured out what the tax was, $160,000. That's what we did. We actually figured out what the tax was, $160,000. And the tax on hundred and sixty thousand dollars for thirty two hundred and therefore thirty two hundred is more than three thousand. Well anybody can do that. That wasn't the bloody point. We're not supposed to calculate it. We're not supposed to calculate it. We are supposed to compare them. Okay? I will see you tomorrow. I know.